Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Hello? Is there anybody out there? I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to wait for people, but I'm going to play the title Tuesday and attempt to stream it, see how it goes. I'm just posting some uh, stuff on social media. Oh, that's not that's not the correct one. Put that here. Maybe this. Fortunately, I'm off screen, so I don't have to have to, don't have to watch this. So give it a few minutes, y'all. Twitter, maybe? I have to lock this one out. Mm -hmm. So 167 players, 167 titled players. It's impressive. Of course, I guess most people will be watching Simon or somebody, but who knows? Uh, we'll uh, we'll record this, and maybe if it's interesting, we'll put it on on the YouTube channel. We'll record this. So the first game is underway. Feedy Master, Abdul Aziz, something. Let's uh, keep it tight. I and play d4. Mm, I have to fiddle with my setup here a bit. We don't really need this during the game. Maybe the move list. Let's get the move list. Let's get the move list. Maybe I like it some more. And we can, yeah. Switch it around. Okay, maybe I should start catching up here. So I'm playing a London system here. But he goes with uh, d5. c5 is very sensible here. We have kind of a, I guess, a reversed kind of um, Catalan. So a common plan is knight c6, knight d7, e5 at some point. Maybe not immediately, but I'm not sure c4 is too great. Closing down. Yeah, removing the tension in the center, but black can push on the queen side a bit with a5, b4. Mm. Not sure how good this is. I have a feeling he will be somewhat undermined eventually we'll see 
take, 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 b3, he has to take, bishop takes, I prefer to take with the queen, but bishop takes, c4, I think the b pawn should be, at least a slight cause of concern for him, hmm, hmm, I feel like I'm almost missing something, but okay. Knight c6, he gets developed finally. Mm. Just have a feeling there should be something for me here, but maybe that feeling is just a feeling. Let's go here. Queen a5 could be a move, but I'm not so sure he will see it. And then maybe bishop a4 comes into consideration. It's a good point that I'm over, uh, yeah, at the moment at least I'm always covering b8, so there's no rook b8. Don't have to worry about my queen being trapped, really. e5. Mm -hmm. Pretty good move. Let's go here so we're not hit by, uh, even though f4 is probably not that good a move. So maybe bishop 2. g3 was an option. So now c4 is hanging. The question is if you, if you should play. I think I'm gonna go with this move. I don't see. I don't have much of of anything here. If we're being honest. You can of course take on d2, but then I take on on d5. C3 could be annoying, but I think I have queen takes a5, knight b1, hitting the pawn, rook c8, rook c1. I well, actually don't see him saving the pawn. <sighs> rook a8 now, I play knight takes c4. He takes on c4, I take with check. And if he takes on a4, I take on d5 with check. If he takes on b5, I always have knight d6 protecting if he attacks the bishop. But he can't even do that, so. Okay, we won a pawn, that's a good news, but still some work to do. Knight, takes, uh, knight to b6 is. Uh, Potential threat here. Um, I gotta just do that. Seems to free up my pieces. So is there any sense in taking this guy? I don't think that there is. So let's go with the original plan. Might have been an option, but uh, it's not really practical to spend too much time on it. It's such a quick game, so I'll play rook b1. I 
kind of doesn't have a ton of squares. Uh, that seems too desperate to me. I'll of course take it. I have rook f1, I have bishop g3. But most importantly, I have the increment. Knight e3 might also be a very safe move. You play g5. Actually, let's not spend too much time on this. Even if he takes on f2, it's not, not the end of the world. So he's going to test my technique. <laughs> How about uh, this ending in a bishop versus knight? It's quite possible, actually. Um... There's no reason for me to really do anything, um, not yet at least. Only give me bishop to g5, he doesn't allow it. I'm not sure what I'm doing at this precise moment in time. For being okay, for, yeah. He blundered. I have the correct uh, flank corner so that should be quite safe let's keep one here he's gonna be uh, eventually sukshanked like f3 king e3 immediately and the e4 pawn drops and then they drop like flies Here, bishop f4, and then I take <laughs> Thank you. Logically compromised is here for the c6 action. No c6 action, only e6. Thank you. That was a decent game, I guess. I didn't have much, but I managed to, to find a way there. So we see that probably Hikaru hasn't finished this game, otherwise he'd be, well, didn't he win the first game? He was not. Maybe it's not in order. Well, it's in, in order. Did he uh, draw? Or maybe he didn't play. Hmm. He was registered. Here's my fellow countryman, Biwark, Bjarnir Karlsson. Who won his game? And Grandmaster Johan Hjartason. So we have members of the Puffins, the Reykjavik Puffins. I in, uh, invite you to like our page here on chess.com. I'm going to post it now on the stream. I play, yeah, I play both the London and the English. And I actually don't have a, a clear preference at the moment. Uh, it would be, would be nice to have a webcam, but um, I'm currently situated at my place of work. And this is uh, not a laptop, so there's no built-in built -in, uh, webcam, but I do have a USB webcam that maybe I can use if I record or stream from this.
location in the future. But are there still some games going on? I thought uh, I was playing quite... Well, we had 20 and 26 seconds left, so I'm not sure there's going to be other games. Let's maybe see uh, what's going down. What's going down, down, down. I'm not having a beer, no beer. So it's Rook versus Bishop, which is, of course, dead drawn. It's just about one way to lose it. And that's when you're in the corner and you put the bishop on the only square that I can't go to. In this case, if the king went to a8, bishop was on b8, and white has the seventh rank, you can't go to d6. That's the only way to, to lose. Yeah. Okay. And we have a game. A strong opponent. 2504. Uh, what happened here? Did I? Ah, okay. I know what happened. There. Should be better now. So he plays e4. Whoa. Spent a lot of time there. And we have a French. Kind of curious to see who this guy is. Maybe I'll open it in a new window that you don't have to see. Oh man, this is this Nodirbek Ab Abdu Satorov, which is this young kid who is destroying everybody. Oh, the pressure is too much. Probably gonna know a ton of theory here. So maybe I should have played something else. Um, yeah, okay. At least we'll learn from a 11 year old to whatever he is right now. <laughs> uh, I think the, these lines are tough to play at at the high level if you uh, haven't been studying a lot recently. So I don't have really any new fresh ideas, so I'm just playing up, playing off of uh, h3. It's going to take some kind of uh, positional approach. This should be 3. Very sensible, probably. Play this one over here. And have some options. Might play well, he's not going to play uh, any 95 just yet. Well, though, he might. Oh, I should have played my queen, but okay, maybe I get away with it. Maybe I get away with it. Mm. He's playing very confidently, very confidently. Just gonna attempt to squeeze here. Knight h5. Um, he's playing this. Well, maybe he can play a4. Maybe I should have played my queen away, but there's no good square for the queen, really. So maybe if uh, I've given the opportunity, I should check the exchange, but of course I have to react to the threat on h7. So we'll start with this. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, A4. I figured he might. He could and he would. But okay, let's go with the queen to g7, which is often a useful square in these lines. And maybe after a future uh, h6, I can sack on f3. For now, I need a square for my knight. And an answer to the question, should I take first? I think I should. Now, should I go to a5, queen a4, maybe b6? Or should I go to e7? If I go to e7, maybe you can sack here. You can probably do that anyway, though. So maybe just go here. He goes back. It's probably a good move. Disappear. Just to avoid any rook takes, sacks. Okay, maybe you can take here. Oh my goodness. He's not going to miss a tactic. Ah, oh. I think he could have taken on h7. But he wants to squeeze me. He wants to squeeze the Sibmeister. Maybe I wanted the knight on e7. Would have been safer. I kind of misevaluated that he's... Ah, the knight on e7 would have protected my position. A bit. Mm. Just put a knight on e5. I'm really in a bind here. Big, big bind. I'm in a binder. And I'm low on time. Not so nice combination. So I have. So I'm not down anything, but he has a very nice. Very nice uh, space advantage. So he can maneuver around more easily. And of course, yeah. Direct consequence of that is that he has good pieces, so he doesn't want to exchange the rooks. Which is probably well logical. Now I need to find something to do, but uh, it's not so easy. I'm, I'm not sure what I what I can or should do here. Maybe yeah, uh, maybe knight d7 is coming next. Prefer to keep this bishop, so knight d7 trying to exchange. I could have played knight c4, didn't really think too long or hard about that. Mm, maybe let's just do it now. So I will just try to take it here move by move. It's not much we can really hope. Accomplish. I'm really getting squeezed here. Can I do this? I'm not sure. I'll take with the queen. Okay, I'm happy to exchange the bishops though. He probably doesn't want to do that. I'm still getting squeezed here. What does he take with this one? Okay, then maybe a bishop comes here. And then maybe queen e7, rook e8. Okay, queen e7. It's on pin here. Well, maybe I shouldn't have. You shouldn't have, indeed. Let's probe the rook, try and gain time on the clock. Come back here. It's tense stuff. This is if you take some, obviously hoping that I have some way to bring my bishop back to life. Maybe this does he have a threat? I didn't see it. So um, okay, a knight of six would have been a bit annoying. 
Oh. Scheiße. Ah, oh, das ist ein Scheiße, man. Maybe I can hold on somehow, but uh, this is getting really, really difficult. Maybe I can put a queen on c5, push this pawn somehow. <sighs> I think queen c5 is my next move. Some tense defense, man. This is... Uh... Hopefully, when he gets down on the clock, he's not as sharp as he was before. Now, if he has to take, then... Ooh. La la la. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he might get a pawn there. I didn't really have anything. B7 pawn was hanging. I have to... Do... Oh, put that this. Now I'm getting... Run down heavily. Now he can't. I can't allow him to penetrate now, which is difficult to prevent. Um, Queen d6 can't do that yet. Oh man. Got them, kid. Yeah, this is getting... Too difficult and... Uh, I should have a winning ending. If he wants it. Uh, I'm really... I'm putting this attacked, so let's go here. Okay, this could be tough to defend, to say the least. Here come the pawns. That's getting time on the clock. Uh, take this. He blunders something there. Uh, of course, it didn't. There's knight of six check. Yep, we can resign. Yeah, in my defense, this is. Uh, <laughs> Future world champion, caliber player, I think. Judging by his progress so far. Of course, you play well. Nothing to be done. Uh, is this working? Ah, okay. So this one, this one, this one. It's more or less the same. Okay. So what happened to Hikaru? Didn't he play or... Did he lose? Oh, b work on 2 out of 2. Well done. Elder 16. Or Fire 16. So 2 out of 2 as well. And we get an opponent right away. Okay, we have what? Oh, no, no, no. What? What? Oh, the clock started in 10 seconds. No instant. Um... Where's the kid from? Some, uh, what's it called? 
Uzbekistan. 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 Super five. Let's just play what I used to play here. Um, okay, place this line. Checking out. Uh, if I take a b7, you place bishop d7. And that's too much defense. And clearly he's booked up since he's blitzing this out. So I'm going to try and play something quiet. But on the other hand, I'm allowing e5. So let's see. So we're already making a bit of a mess out of the opening. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole different ball game when you're playing semi-professional and professional players. You have to really know your stuff and haven't been studying enough, enough lately. Knight g3. Bishop e6. Can I play d4? No. No. Maybe I can. My pieces are just misplaced. It's, uh, of course, when you bail out, that, that can happen. <laughs> you cannot always bail out. In a good way. Uh, I think this game answers more or less if I accept gambits. I prefer not to. Oh, okay, I'm spending too much time here. I'm, I'm not really sure what. What does it do, really? What is this move? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I uh, don't like the way I'm playing at all. Need to refocus. I wonder if I rook c1, but then maybe d4. What if I take now? That was one of my ideas. He takes with a pawn. Okay. Clever guy. It's time to. Well, problem with rook a to c1 was a to hanging, but. Don't know. <sighs> Need some ideas here. I need some ideas. E4, can I play like this? And then maybe if D4, just knight D5. One probably can't take because of the light squares. Okay, so it takes this. We take back, knight d5 is the next move, most likely. Definitely now, unless yeah, he has this move, of course. Mm. Rook b1, takes, 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 takes. Bishop takes a2. Rook a5. Ah. Oh. 
this is hanging. What's wrong with us? Ah, uh, it's a bit tricky. Maybe you can take with a rook. Maybe you can just take with a rook. My <sighs> main issue, of course, is the clock here. If knight takes here, then he had plenty of options. Rook a8 to take on a2 or rook c5. Trying to trap it, even rook c2, with f2 being weak. Rook c2, bishop c5. I didn't want to allow that. Um, I'll go here, maybe it goes here. And, well, I think maybe you can take or can he? There's some rook d1 type. Maybe you can take on a2 and no, I can't take on a2 now. I'm gonna take on d2. So I'm not sure what he does with the rook actually. Probably gonna play rook t1 and then try to uh, put pressure on me on the clock. And we hope he doesn't succeed. Oh, oh what am I doing? Oh. Christ. Christ, man. Just when I had escaped the worst, man, I, ugh. Just when we, okay. It's not so easy for him still, so let's not. Uh-huh. Guess I want knight f5 soon. Need to hang tough here. Or knight is problem piece here to get it back somehow. Oh, I'm wrong this, but maybe it's okay. Um, for the moment, I'll go back. Try to get the knight back into play. Mm-hmm. Hanging on for the for the for the time being, at least it seems. You could get self made it king e four, bishop takes f seven, king f three, bishop d five, checkmate. Okay, he's not taking a draw at this very moment, so I'm not sure what he wants to play for. See, not really for him to make any progress here. Well, actually, that's progress, or is it? The king comes there, and then what? And then what? Uh, the bishop can manoe maneuver around all at once, but I don't see what it accomplishes. Okay. 
Can you play H5 at some moment? Actually, I should defend with Bishop F7. Okay, he can lose this now. Bishop B5. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I thought he might for some reason. Saw this made a while back. Probably did too, but he forgot about it. So, Swindle City, population RSNR. Swindle City, y'all. Please join uh, our Reykjavik Puffins fan club. We're going to play in the Pro Chess League, which starts Wednesday next week. Which will be exciting. We got at least three team, team members playing. Uh, Elder 16, which you can see here, on three out of three. Doing quite well in the tournament. And B. Wark, who's also on three out of three. Well done, guys. Well done. So it seems, uh, it seems like I'm the uh, current team slacker. <laughs> I think you should have, in this endgame, you should have at some point played h5. When he had the bishop on e4. When he had the bishop on e4, like here. Like this maybe h5. I can't allow him to take because everything falls, so I have to take. Ah, I have knight d4. So this uh, actually simplifies into a dead drawn opposite colored bishop ending. Uh, the simplest way is to go here and then simply keep the bishop on this diagonal and and this square. So it seems like it was a dead, dead draw, but we managed to find the swindle there. <laughs> so we're on two out of three, not too bad. But we're also rooting for our Reykjavik Puffins. This and I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna screenshot this guy. <laughs> and Grandmaster Slatan fifty six, who's that? Is that Fresene? Yeah, it seems. Let's, um, not sure what, which one I should have played. I'm gonna post this, uh, Come watch the Sip Monster. Okay, let's go. Let's spend too much time. We can't afford to to give uh, time much to such a player. Uh, did I mess up the uh, recording? Uh, don't need to win the regions. We need this one. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, sorry guys. Should be okay now. Uh, e5, rook b1. Let's see what he comes up with here. Actually, I'd like to take, but I'll go here first. Knight d4 is, seems like a topical variation. I had, uh, 
Our captain likes to play it. I had a young whipped up kid play it against me recently. So we'd like to go to the A file, but E4 is always a big problem. So 92 comes to mind, even here. Well, right there. Well, oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have moved this knight. That was a bit. But let's go here. Just gonna check on h3. Didn't think that would be dangerous, to be honest. King h1. Okay. So he just wants to take and take on g3. <sighs> wants to take and take on g3. F3 seems a bit too, too tight. Um, G takes F4 is always too risky. Bishop f3, maybe g5. Or maybe this is playable. Should maybe also have given it more thought than maybe this is playable. I played positions like this many, so many times before, but. Somehow haven't had this. Something about this configuration that isn't all too familiar, familiar to me. The knight on h3 is, is a bit unusual. It's maybe not threatening to do anything immediately. Well, I did allow him to maybe put his rook on. A2, which was unnecessary. <sighs> okay, but hopefully not fatal. I was going to take with the eighth pawn. Well, I wasn't sure actually. So we're here. Does he have tactics? Then he can take on e4 maybe. I was going to take with the eighth pawn because, well, it's too late now. It's too late now, isn't it? Okay, go, Mr. Rook. Just hoping that there aren't tactics. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like it might be getting slightly dodgy. Bishop g4, maybe. Okay, c6. That's. Um... Well, it's down Main Street, that's for sure. I'm taking d5 though and have knight f6 at the end there. I'm hoping knight takes d5, queen takes knight f6, rook takes, bishop takes. He has bishop e4, but I don't think it's made. So bishop takes e4, rook takes f1, king g2. <sighs> Hopefully you missed that one. Looks like you did, so um, uh, we're I was gonna say we're back in the game. Oh, but well, it's not so easy. It's 
not so easy. I have to go here because otherwise there's a pin. Tricky business, man. Tricky business. Nine seconds is a bit rough. Don't go to D1, that's... Uh, Oh, I'm getting made it. That's so clumsy. Oh man, come on. God damn it. Spent too much time in the opening like a clown. Might as well give it to him. Yeah, he blundered there, so a great chance wasted, but uh, Ah, oh, great chance wasted there, man. King H8. To get my pieces organized here. Okay, here. Okay, takes on D3. Even after allowing that. <sighs> Maybe I can just play uh, bishop g2 here. Because I have a pin after queen takes d5, I can play g4. This could have. Big point, of course, is either way he takes. Rook takes f8. Which just wins. Well, actually, if you had taken on e4. Four, then I would have to play this. Okay, with the bishop on g4, I just I take, I take here, and then give him a check. But if he uh, takes this one, only move. Well, I'm up a pawn at the end of all of this. Question is if, if it's enough. If maybe I should keep the king on g8. Could be interesting because if the knight goes here, I go here next move. And the knight doesn't really have a square. So maybe I missed missed the win there after all. But uh Having squandered the time in the opening, uh, I kind of paid for it. So we're on two out of two. Let's see uh, what our fellow countrymen are doing. Um, so four out of four. Oh, look at that. Beauty of Carlson. He's working his way into the team. Uh, it seems. At my expense. I think he's actually he's a, he's a great player, but can't can't really play all that much because of his job and uh, his family. So Johan lost. Uh, oops. Uh, can I like see his archive? How do we do that? Do it like this. And oh, we actually played against Beaver. Good never calls him. Quick look at that one while we wait, I guess. So Pietnior was black. Oh, he played the Chevalenko, which he uh, taught to the Icelandic women's team, I know. 
Good Niver was the uh, coach for the Icelandic women's team at the Olympiad. And I was with the men, so we know we know each other quite well. Okay, the game has started, so don't have time to look at this. I'm playing Quintiliano. Okay. Let's see what he comes up with. D4, clock is already running, so nine of six. And, uh, yeah. Oh, ah, well. I was actually going to play bishop b4, but I didn't want to. Walk, walk into some bishop f4, that's what they all play, it seems. Let's see if he wants to play the modern mainline. Well, he used to be called that, but I'm not sure if it's called that today. Bishop d3, okay. This is all played it in the past, postponing castling. Yeah, actually, it's maybe better not to take on e5. But okay, let's see. Um, let's keep the position in view for you guys. Um, well, now I can take with the queen, actually. Um, if he were to take... So let's just go here. I guess it's, yeah, I guess his idea is queen g5, but I'm not sure how great it is. We'll see. Maybe not more. The main point being g3, uh, bishop takes h3. Note that I'm not threatening bishop takes h3 because of bishop takes f4. So should we play, uh, let's play h6 first here. Don't mind getting the bishop pair here. I don't think he can, oh, he wants to. Pin me down on that side. Let's see. I'll go here. My idea is, well, he's going to play here. I'll play with b8. Probably better to keep an eye on b7 pawn. And I don't want to allow him to cement the knight here on the c4 square. So we're going to play bishop b5 if he were to do that. Maybe bishop b5 here. E5, bishop takes E5. Okay, bishop E5 here. I have to be careful about castling because of knight D7 type stuff. Start with this. Should be doing okay. Maybe I walk the king to c7. Or, well. Of course we want to castle. And he wants to play f4 at some point. Let's keep the king here. It should be okay. I want my rook on f on, on e8. Rook comes to e8. But now what? 
Maybe bishop g3 and f5. Kind of like that. Because he has to take on b5 then. Well, or play bishop d3 actually. No, he has to play. Take. And take here. Okay, well. Ah, okay. Okay. Don't want to take this guy. Rookie five. It's a, bit, a little bit of a tension game with the c4 square. I don't want to allow a knight there. So if, if, if I had exchanged the light squared bishops, then uh, a knight may enter. Maybe h5, h4, try to threaten to take on t3 because, uh, with the pawn on h4. I'm winning e4. I think I should be doing quite well here. Quite okay at least, but I don't know. H4 takes takes. <sighs> it's actually a bit tricky now. We should take C4. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Oh, <sighs> take first on D3, man. Oh, I'm, I messed up the move order. Oh, come on, not like this. <sighs> How stupid. Silly ugh, mental error. Ugh, it's so annoying, man. Come on. Ah, not like this. Okay, I think I can go here. Ah, it's ninety-seven. I have to uh, sack the exchange. Lovely. Just lovely. Yeah, I was. Ah, oh, very annoying, these two losses. Of course, this game isn't over, but it's very difficult. So let's keep playing. I think I'm going to put the king on, well, g8. Yeah, well, that's not a good counterplay. I should have put rook here. What's wrong with it? Mm -hmm. Rook f1, bishop h2 is like a cheap trick that we're hoping for, of course. And you fall for it. Still not easy. Still not easy. Uh, do I have to sack the rook there? No way you meant to do it like this. Come on. No way you meant to do it like this. Should have kept the rook, actually. Yeah. Very annoying losses, man. Got guys plundering, plundering the game to me and then getting lucky right back. Okay, this can be resigned. It's <sighs> very... Very annoying. I have to say I don't deserve to be on two out of five here. I 
we all don't always get what we deserve, it seems. Yeah, I was playing a good game there. Um, my main problem has been the time. Partita Linda, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <sighs> I didn't go according to plan. So what's happening guys? Five out of five, Lugi and well four and a half. Andrekin, who finally stopped our guy, Björn Nyvar, Björk. Yeah, I thought I was playing quite well here. So I have to B4. I actually wanted to take first, and then take here. And I don't lose the Asics pawn, and it's a whole, a whole nother ball game. I still should be doing quite well. Yeah, especially since you can't take because of the mate on e1. So I can sort of tick tick how I want to. Do things from here. Maybe H four. I do have a problem with this rock, so I need to get it out. That's uh, that's the only only kind of downside of my position. Otherwise. Thought it was quite quite solid. But yeah. Mm. So it seems like uh, Hikaru didn't play. He was registered, but when I looked at it, but didn't play. I'm not sure how they do this. Maybe they have two. I think they used to have two. Two title Tuesdays with different starting times depending on on where you live in the world. So maybe he's going to play the other one if there's another one. Um, well, there are of course plenty of strong players not <laughs> happy at the moment. It's a, it's a strong tournament. I mean, currently 98th place is, is a grandmaster. Hundred twenty first Grandmaster, one hundred twenty ninth, etc. So, but uh, yeah, some strong opponents here. I mean, I lost against Freshenay and like a youth world champion, so nothing to be ashamed of. But I would like to do better. Oh, uh, Hikaru maybe lost his first game in rage quits. Or did he? Rapid Falcon, which is uh, Salem Sally. Didn't he also beat him in uh, 
the world blitz. We beat somebody. So what happened? Ikar must be doing well. Still think well, yeah, White is still doing okay. Well not okay, he, he's better. But what happens? So we counterplay. Hmm. Did he cover blunder very badly here? Uh at some point, let's see. It's just a pawn off, but uh, it's difficult to make progress. Bishop b7 was the last move. Whoa, what's going on here? What's going on? What happened? Hmm. Did he get disconnected or something? Okay, anyway. Um, on to the next game. So we have the white pieces again. And we're going to play the London again. E3. And he's going to go for this queen p6 line, I guess. I'm going to go here. Most likely he'll play c4. We go back. And either g6 or maneuvering the bishop around. Play bishop f5. Everything has been seen before here. Well, the queen goes back. That's because he wants to push the queen side pawns. <laughs> there is an option maybe of going b3 here, but. Um, just play h3. As always, cementing this square for the bishop if needed. Knight e4. Yeah, let's just uh, get castled and then we'll think about what we want to do. Okay, most likely castle as well. So should we take, bishop takes knight here, and then maybe e4, could be an option. Don't do that. Okay, I was thinking maybe e4 here. Well, maybe I'm just gonna do it. The point of course is to get the c4 pawn at the end of it but it might be might be tactically flawed because mm. of knight takes d4 so rook c8 looks like a strong move here okay we didn't see it so we'll consider that a lifeline I'll go back here f5 well maybe not surprising but hmm so we keep the bishop pair. What's going on here? I want to get this rook uh, closer to the center for the time being. He wants to play knight c4. I put the queen back on c1, but the difference is, at least now, my rook is better placed. It might not be much, but hopefully something 
to work with. Hmm. Is it time to break with f3? Get scope for the bishop. e3 I take. Any e5 I... Uh... Hmm. Don't attack with a rook maybe. Well, bishop here, I'm threatening bishop b7, right? Trapping the uh, the rook. And why not just take... I will be weak on the black squares, though. But an exchange is an exchange, so let's take it. Should have taken uh, the other bishop, I think. No B tool hang, so let's play this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to put the knight on D5. That's a good idea. Hopefully, I also have good ideas. We'll see. Um. Queen d1 for now. Don't really have a plan. Yeah. Didn't see much else. Probably goes back. And queen e2. Let's tuck this one. Oh, yeah, it's coming to e4, right? Um. Takes on d4, do we go for the ending? I think we should. Take on e6. Might have some d5 ideas also. If knight takes, h7 hangs. Pawn takes, well, the pawn takes is, is probably not a good one. Uh, Okay, get us on time here. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> probably 94. And probably could be 3. Well, this is again the best square somehow. I thought I, oh, I thought I could take. What what's wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? Oh man. Hmm. Somehow went from a much better position to uh, nothing special. He offers a draw, but... Hmm. I'm not saying I fancy my position, but... Did mess up. Gonna get a pass pawn. So we will have some winning chances. Although it should be a draw. It's probably a good way to 
play it. Um, So we can we get to G5? That might be might be annoying. That's a good move. Ooh, oh, flak. Some flagging chances for him, for me, for both of us. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this way I can get uh, my king over. Play rook b5 and a5. So a5, king moves a6. King here first. Well, is that good? Ah, no, 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 not this move. Well. Seems like I'm getting some. <sighs> Something accomplished, it seems, and he resigns. Oh, sorry, didn't have the uh, notation on. So not the greatest technique. Uh, not sure if I could have gotten the king to g5, but... Uh, But but either way, yeah, I think it was good not to just put my rook right away up to a8 or a7 because it, it played a, a very important role to, in uh, protecting my pawn. It meant that it didn't couldn't get any counterplay because once he takes this pawn, my eight pawn is gonna run up the board, and then somehow I found. I don't know if it was the right way, but it, at least a way to to uh, get uh, the king to to help the pawn. So okay, we're back on uh, three out of what six, and Maxim Lugi six out of six. So three rounds. This might. Might get to, oh, look at Bivark. Five out of six. Very impressive. Who did he beat? Chess, um, Fidel Master chess coach. He's been, uh, he's been two grandmasters, one I am, and the national master. So, well done. Well done. So do we have any games going still? Only one game. Which we'll have a look at. A queen ending.
<laughs> so here it's the <laughs> quality, not the quantity of the past parts, but uh, are you all on time? You won on time. That counts. Hey, Visum in the house. So, uh, Vablibi, Fabian Libziewski. He's played in Reykjavik on a number of occasions. I'm going to go with Knight F6 here and see what he wants to do. Okay, if it goes with g3, then I will play a London. I really want h6 here, and I'm happy with life now. If he plays with knight bt2 going for e4. I always felt that these positions are quite solid for black, especially if white goes e5. We have kind of a King's Indian attack, except the bishop is outside the pawn chain, which is usually sitting here, sitting on c8 when I play it similar positions than the French, and it makes a ton of difference when it comes to defending. Okay, um, huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's the move I wanted, but maybe he wanted this first. Bishop of eight, just uh, kind of a preliminary move, if you will. Knight b4, because why not? There's always d3 hanging if the c pawn moves. And should I play this? Probably. Mm hmm. four. I'm not sure how I should play this. Um, <sighs> gonna go here to start with. Maybe three. Setting up for this eventually, but okay for now. Uh huh. Is this a move? C4? No. Let's see what it does. It's kind of a probing move just to. Time on the clock, really. Yeah, the problem though is that if we go here, queen d2, I don't want to go d4, so we go back. Maybe he uses the other rook now. Uh huh. Let me do this. Anyone, he's setting up for c3. That's clear. Not much I can do about it, so go there. Maybe it's a clever maneuver to put a knight on a3, try and put it on b5. But I'm not thinking about that just yet. We'll go here. He's going for the attack here. D4 take take, D4 type moves. We 
I see four. Knight on d4, um, so should I attack on c4? I'll go here. I'm not sure if it's good. But I might have a trick uh, in that if he takes twice on d5, or three times actually, and I, I have bishop f5 in the end, trapping the queen. So maybe take with a piece first. Try and induce that. It's really tricky. I take to the bishop. That means he might see it. Should have taken with a pawn. Taking with a pawn. That wasn't crafty enough there. But okay, this should be an annoying move because if uh, if I take with a pawn, then I'm just a pawn up. No, I'm not a pawn up. I thought I was winning a pawn, but I'm not. Okay. Somehow misunderstood that. B5 takes rook here. Let's do that. This bishop is lurking. I think I'm better here. That piece is lurking. He's missing his light squared bishop. Uh, was an annoying move. Uh, or was it? This could be annoying as well. Going for knight c3. Yeah, I must be better here. I even have bishop e7 and g5 type of moves. Let's see if you see that. Always trying to be tricky. There's also knight takes f4, bishop takes h4. Mm. Let's go here. Pressure on b3 and rook a1, knight take on, on d3. Ah, oh, he protects craftily. He, uh, he protects as well. I'm wondering if I should take this. It's not a great piece. Perhaps we should keep the knight. Ay ay ay. Hmm. Oh no, he's trying to come back to the game. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. F4, of course. Come on. This sloppy chess. Needs to protect e5. Can do it. He can. Um, it's not what I want to do here, but do I have a choice? This? No, no entry. So no rock of it. Okay, we need really need to focus now. King back into the game. <sighs> A for next, right? B four. Mm. Mm. 
That's one hell of a... Cocaine is one hell of a drug. It was like I had the upper hand there, so this is really annoying again. Really annoying stuff. But I will try to keep going. Um, this for some reason. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, Does it maneuver the knight? I don't see it. Here, what does he do? Oh, he's coming with the king. But we know how to take care of the kings. Oi, oi, oi. I'm lost now. God damn it. God fucking damn it. D4 here, king. King. In here. <sighs> well, I probably should have been lost, but I know I'm not so sure. Mm hmm. So you're going for the draw. Okay, I have to take it. Ah, king there. Yeah, he's gonna get it with one tempo. <laughs> So I'll draw. Okay, I, I I didn't deserve to lose that one, so <sighs> we're gonna be happy. Yeah, again, a good game. I was pressing, but again faltered. You know, let's see how it goes. So let's see, can he keep going? The great bivark. Oh, six out of seven. Look at the guy. Did he beat one, two, three, four, five? No, what? One, two, three, four, five. I'm confused. Anyway, next game. Fidemaster Nikmatov, also from Uzbekistan. Round eight. Round eight. Fight! Let's try the French. Will we see another? Wondering if this is some friend of uh, the guy we played in the second round. Nope, he goes with d3. Completely different variation. We play knight f6. Knight c6, hoping for g3. When we have some automatic moves coming up. Castles after bishop d2. He can't play e5 because of knight g4. But after castles, he can play e5 after he castles. So therefore, I will play e5 after he castles. Usually, they go c3. And I go a5. And the idea with a5 is both to stop b4 and slightly more sneakily to protect the bishop. I'll play it anyway. Protect the bishop once it comes to a6. h3 is, is a good move. It avoids any knight g4. I would have a knight g4 here if he hadn't done that. I'll play this guy anyway. Queen b4. Yeah. 
this move I'm not sure I oh hung the knight what the f oh my goodness ah oh. I'm getting too tired after a full work day. Oh man. <sighs> Queen A4, I mean. The mo. <laughs> yeah. Just such a stupid move, I just. I just shut it off, you know. God. Yeah, maybe I could have tried B5 instead of resigning, but nah, it takes too long to draft the queen. B5, rook, rook, you can do knight B3 or something in the meantime. Ah, oh, what the hell was that? I don't know, man. <sighs> the F word. Goddamn F word, man. Well, at least we can look at some games. I'm gonna look at my friend to see how he's doing. It's about as bad as I've blundered in a, in a while. <sighs> so it seems like York has a good position and an opponent that, I mean, he's not a machine. I mean, he's not like a top GM, so he's, uh, well, has, well, quote unquote, only uh, a CM, so the FM should be a favorite. So he has the black squared bishop. There are some weaknesses on, on the black squares, but. Maybe not super easy to take advantage of those. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time concentrating on this pedestrian performance of mine. And then I have to get some work done after this, man. Oh, don't feel like it, but I have to. Actually, I should have been working instead of playing the tournament, but. <laughs> yeah. At least I have one beer back home in the fridge. Looking forward to that when I get home. So, why is a pawn pot h4 might be hanging? Queen d7, probably forces some trades, yeah. And why this probably... Probably still better. Because if we take on h4, there's queen takes e6. Well, there's queen takes b7, though. Maybe that's not all clear. But most likely, if they trade into opposite colors, it's going to be draw ish. Although, white is probably going to be slightly better. If you can set up with, uh, put the bishop on f6, he's going to play bishop g5 now, probably. And then he can always play f3 to blunt this diagonal if, if black puts a bishop on it. Uh, uh, so slightly better for white, but, but not much. So probably B4, 
because he, he can protect the a3 pawn with rook takes a6. So if he wins this, he's on 7 out of 8. And what's going on in the tournament? Dlugi has 7 out of 7. Yeah, it's, it's a very... Actually, 9 rounds is... is uh, Probably not enough for such a tournament. But white can really torture black for a good while. Pick probably rookie three and bishop f6 now. And then you know f3, bring the king maybe first to g3 and then see what we want to do. Nice threatening rook a, uh, d8 to to h8. Oh, what what? That's mate. No, he has. Oh, oh sorry. He always has Rook C8 back. Goes for the ending. Which is interesting. He must have uh, seen a way to win it. Well, it's clear that Black is going to have some problems to activate his king. Okay, king 3. Yeah, this was the most, uh, well, easiest way to play for uh, plus equals, but I'm afraid this might be drawn. King d5, king comes. Now the question is, do we allow e6? <sighs> yeah, I don't think... Black can never lose this. Because we can always defend with the bishop. If the king comes to the queen side, there's bishop a4. If we're looking around the king side, there's always bishop on the b1 to h7 diagonal. So this should be a draw. Tlugi is on 8 out of 8, looking like he might be. Close to finishing this off. But maybe somebody can catch up and set up, set up a showdown in the last round. Although I suspect that Lugi is going to win on points if, if, uh, if uh, that's the case. Uh. So that game's still going on. Let's check out the game of Hjartarsson might be. This is just a draw. Might actually be more interesting. He's up two pawns against uh, a feeding master from Slovakia. And he's winning quite easily. Has pawn. He might even give up the bishop there. He didn't do that, but not just push the c pawn. Well, first take the a pawn and yeah. <laughs> Let's be practical. No need to give any any chances. So five and a half for Johan and Fjordnir will be on six and a half, which is quite good. But it looks like Delugi has this one wrapped up before the last round. Eight out of eight. So we're gonna finish. The last round, and then we're gonna hopefully get some work done and then head on home to that to that beer. Looking forward to that beer, man. Oh I'm really tired, man. Really tired. So still some games, Fabi Levy.
Oh, yeah, that last game of mine was just horrific. It hadn't even started when I just brain farted. In a way, I haven't in, 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 a, in a long time. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of energy at the moment, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best. So we get a Grandmaster in the, in the last round. Who for some reason has disabled the chat. Oh, maybe C for this time around. Let's keep it... Uh, Diverse. Can more or less primo this, unless he goes c6. He's an old school GM, he's gonna go d5. No, he's gonna go c6. Um, I think this might be this old guy. I'm actually gonna check. Doesn't say who he is, so we'll have to wait and see. Five move, nine six move. He plays D five. I think the line in uh, in Marin's book is to F D takes C four to take on D eight. But like yeah <laughs> too much stuff I haven't been analyzing for a while. I will take we'll just play it castle. And I thought 95 here. And it's some some sort of long term compensation. Um, where we take on E6. And he holds on to the pawn. So let's see. Um, his pieces will be tied down a bit to uh, defend this pawn. So we're hoping we can take advantage of that. Uh, okay. Okay. Press about four E three. A bishop should be okay here. Let's swing it over here. I would probably prefer my knight on E five though. Trying to pick up this C four pawn. Mm. Okay, so 95 probably coming up. Should have taken eight first. Knight uh, so takes knight e5. I don't think it can harass the bishop, so just hope that's correct.
and yeah I'm not sure I might but well, I might think about bishop takes c6 and so on. not that I'm covering all the squares e4 and g4 or all the all the <laughs> all the two squares that the knight can go to to attack f2 that would really see but also it's not an issue because I have rook b4 at the end of it he doesn't have any way after a rook check to uh, to come around the back to attack my bishop. So if he's not taking and simply allowing me to have the bishop pair here, then. then I should be doing quite well. But, um, okay. Of course, he doesn't have to take on b2. Place e5 first. Okay, play bishop c1. Start with this. Could take. Can I come back here? Bishop back. Back rank is a bit tricky. Okay, this should be a safe. Uh, plus equals type of position, but. Uh, Nothing special. Let's guard the second rank. Ah, okay, I don't like that move at all, but okay. So should he or should he not play e4? This pawn could become weak. It also could not. <laughs> Maybe I swing the, the bishop around here. Okay, he wants to. Ah, bloody hell, he wants to. b4, bishop takes. Rook here, a5, a3, no, that's too much. Oh, wants to exchange, what can we do? There's not much we can do. For the rook ending. Hang on a minute, rook d2. I have rook c5. Winning. <sighs> Woo! That was a good time to spend some time on the clock. Anticipate your opponent's moves. Do something about them. That was nice. But now I can attack some pawns, right? Okay, he's gonna get counterplay. Let's not get too cocky here. Let's collect. Go back all the way here. I'm not sure you should have done that. Well, uh -huh. H6, B3. <sighs> okay, this should be uh, sufficiently winning.
G6 checking F1. Yeah, we just, uh, you can even push the E pawn, you know, so it always has to go back to the H file. And worst case scenario, put the king here. So, yeah. Managed to win that one, so yeah, at least we end up with a semi respectable score, five and a half. Who did we play? Did play two GMs, one future GM, one I am. But um, yeah, definitely some missed chances. Let's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we can chalk it up on uh, opening knowledge, spending too much time, you know, a number of things. So there's always causes for your mistakes. I thought I made plenty of them, but, you know, it's the way it is, man. What's going on? Lugi gonna take this. Yes, he is. Uh, Bivark. Did he continue his good run? Uh, no, he lost in the last round, but still a very respectable showing. Six and a half out of nine. And also six and a half out of nine for, for Johan. His rating is a bit low for the moment because he just started on the site. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, somehow I didn't face a GM though. <laughs> yeah, but the tournament should be over now, I guess. With uh, Delugi winning, Evgeny Shaposhnikov, second, seven and a half out of nine. Along with Alexander Moskalenko and Eduardo Iturizaga. And we have Amin Pasim on seven out of nine along with some other strong players. Most of them GMs, except for Alexander Moskalenko. So let's see what uh, are the other still games. Let's see our final position in the tournament. So this game is still going on and Might be a draw. Seems like a pretty decent. Uh... Oh, 95 to C3. Okay, yeah, that, that's a, that's a that's a clear draw. What well, you should go for the G pawn. This is a mistake. You trying to lose this? I mean, okay, it's okay, but <laughs> just go for the G pawn. Uh, the king can't kick the knight away on its own. So, game drawn, tournament finished, and uh, let's see where we are. ended up five and a half out of nine. Oh, thank you. I'm 63rd. Didn't have to look that up. Yeah, I more or less uh, kept the rating I started the tournament with, so seems good. Didn't have five and a half. 
No, that loss, that, that loss, man. That brutal loss when I just hung a piece. That was not nice. So it was in four and a half. Another Grandmaster. Two Grandmasters. Nothing to be ashamed of, but also nothing special. Victor Mikhailovsky below us. Sebastian Masse. Yeah, it's a really strong tournament. Anything can happen, you know, on a good day. We can push for the top. On a bad day, we can go way down, deeper and deeper. But okay, um, that was, uh, I mean, okay, I was tired, but it was still fun, right? Uh, but yeah, how about you guys throw the regular puffins a like on, on chess.com. I'm going to send the link right now. We had three players in this tournament. Did quite well. Six and a half, six and a half, and then I was, well, maybe I'll just be team captain if uh, I'm not going to play better, but hopefully I can play better with a longer time control, 15-2. Time was an issue for, for me in, in most of the games. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I have to get some work done now, so uh, uh, I thank you for watching those who did, and hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.